So being one of a group of conductors is a very different experience from being the one and only conductor. <laughs> when you're the only conductor, you know, you're in charge, you make all of the decisions, it's up to you. In our upcoming performance of the Ives Universe Symphony that we're going to be doing at Carnegie Hall, each of the conductors has um, headphones on and there's a click track going in the headphones. Um, so this is a different experience than probably any piece. <laughs> really, I don't know of another piece that has five conductors where they're all wearing click tracks. It's really a very unique thing. So um, the way that Larry Austin realized the piece is to give the headphones the, uh, to the conductors and they can take control of their own mini orchestra, so to speak, in the context of the big orchestra. And this is important because um, basically in the Ives, what happens is that um, Ives is exploring how in one space of time, you can divide that time rhythmically in a lot of different ways. Even all the percussionists in the back of the stage have headphones on with different click tracks, so they are all getting a pulse of how to divide that time. For example, a span of time you could divide it in four or three or ten or nine whatever, different things. And so in this piece, so during this span of time, there's moments where things line up and then moments where in between you're kind of doing your own thing. And that's why it needs multiple conductors because it's impossible for one conductor to show all of that rhythmic variation by themselves. Probably never again in your life will you see um, a huge orchestra with five conductors with headphones on and lots of percussionists with headphones on. And I mean, this is a, an unbelievable work.